Monsanto is an evil corporation. Just probably not for the reasons you think. Radio Kill asks, can you do a video about GMOs? There's a lot of debate about it, and I'd like to hear your opinion. If by debate you mean lots of shouting and paranoid accusations, then yeah, there's a healthy debate. There's a few different lenses through which you can view this debate. One is the health issue, one is a freedom issue, and the other is an economic issue. From the health aspect, I'm sure I'm courting a whole lot of hate comments when I say I'm really not all that concerned about GMOs. Here's why. If you've been to the grocery store in the last month or so, you've bought genetically modified food. And I don't mean that in a they snuck GMOs in my hungry man meal kind of thing. What I basically mean is that all the food we eat today has been genetically modified. If I were to ask you what this is, you'd probably say it was an ear of corn. Or the first step toward a completely unhealthy replacement for sugar depending on the corporation you run. But that's not entirely true. What might be more accurate to say is that this is the product of thousands of years of selective genetic modification. This is what corn used to look like. And during the agricultural revolution 10,000 or so years ago, they started selecting the breed of these plants that had the most number of kernels on it, started breeding them together, and then countless times over generations, it became this big, thick, buttery thing we love to bite into and get stuck between our teeth today. Same with wheat and bananas and any other crop that you put into your face. They are utter monstrosities compared to what they look like normally in nature. A quick side note, there's this hilarious video out there of Kirk Cameron saying that bananas are proof of God because they fit our hand just perfectly and they're made just for us. Um, yeah, bananas are actually completely genetically modified over the years. Bananas in nature look absolutely nothing like this. Now, I don't have a problem with belief in God, but don't be an idiot about it. What's different about GMOs is they're actually physically changing the DNA of plants to make them do things that would have taken thousands of years for nature to do, and in some ways that would have been impossible for nature to do by itself. As for the alterations being made, they mostly have two purposes. One is to create more output, and the second is to make it more resistant to negative factors. Negative factors include things like drought, difficult growing conditions, and insects. For instance, some crops are having their DNA spliced with plants that produce a natural insect repellent, which means that you have to use less pesticides. And let's keep it real, fewer pesticides is a good thing. A lot of the concern around GMOs is just simple fear of the unknown. People are afraid that if they eat this altered DNA, it might get into our bodies and change our DNA as well. A reasonable fear. but. That's not how it works. The processes of digestion and DNA replication are so far removed in our bodies that there's no possible way that genetically modified food could alter our DNA. If that were the case, everything we eat would alter our DNA. Genetic manipulation and modification has caused a lot of fear over the years, and, it, and it's understandable. It's, our DNA is the core of who we are. It's incredibly complex, and if you mess around with it, you're flirting with all kinds of horrible situations like cancer. But a lot of good has come from genetic manipulation over the years as well, including innovative ways to treat diseases like cancer that have saved thousands of lives. As the world population continues to surge, it's absolutely important that we find new and better ways to grow crops that can feed everybody to avoid mass starvation, which is going to happen in the developing world far more than here in the industrialized world. In a way, complaining about GMOs is kind of a first world privilege. Now this is all very new and the jury's still out in terms of the long-term health effects that these foods could have on us, but as it stands right now, it looks like the benefits of GMOs far outweigh the risks involved. From a health perspective, anyway. So, yay GMOs, right? <laughs> Wait for it. Because next is the freedom aspect of GMOs, and that's where things get a little bit murky. In the United States, Congress just passed a law that many are calling the Dark Act, but it actually goes by the name the Safe and Accurate Labeling Act of 2015, which is incredibly Orwellian because what it does is it says that companies don't have to label whether or not their food is GMO. Not cool. Now, I have no problem with genetically modified food, but do I think that people have the right to know whether or not their food is genetically modified? Yeah, I do. Now this gets into territory that I'm not personally all that familiar with, but really there's only one reason why a company would fight for the right to not label their food as GMO, and that's because they're afraid that some people might not eat it. And as a major corporation hell-bent on world domination, of course all they really care about is how much money they're making, which leads us to the third aspect that we can view this issue through, economics. And here's where the shit gets real. Real evil. Because the dirty little secret about companies that make genetically modified food is this. They own the patent on it, which means if a farmer wants to grow those crops, he has to pay for the rights from the companies. Now, farmers have always had to buy the seed, but now they have to pay considerably more for the rights to that plant. It's like the difference between fair use and copyrighted music. Music that you get through fair use, you can buy or download, and then you can use it however you want, and you just had to pay that one time. 
Copyrighted music, you pay for up front, but it also includes royalties that you dole out according to how much money you made off of using that music. Meaning farmers have to continually pay for the rights to use those seeds. It also means that they can't reuse seeds, which kind of kills the entire business model for a farmer. Seeds create crops that create more seeds that create more crops, and on and on and on. That's kind of how life works. But because these crops have a patent on it, that means you have to pay for any seeds that come out of that crop, so you'll be penalized. Which is quickly driving smaller farmers out of business. Which makes big industrial corporations the sole providers of our food, and Monsanto the sole provider of the seeds, which controls what we get to eat. Now eating, in case you didn't know, is, is something that everybody has to do to live. It's fairly important, and the fact that a major corporation is using that fact to manipulate an entire market so that they can control it is just friggin' evil. As far as health concerns go, GMOs really don't bother me. But the fact that major corporations are using their political capital to keep people in the dark about what they're eating in an effort to control the market and make gobs of money off of the backs of smaller farmers and putting them out of business and stuff, it's not okay. So what do you think? Do the benefits of the high yield crops that can actually feed a growing population outweigh the political shenanigans that these corporations are wielding? Tell me in the comments. If you like what this video had to say, give it a thumbs up. That tells Google to share this message with more people. If this is your first time here and you want to find out more about what this channel is all about, you can click on any of the playlists to the side to view some more stuff. And if you love it, put a ring on it. You can hit the subscribe button up above. I come back every Monday with cool and thought-provoking videos to give you a new perspective on the world. If you got a question you'd like answered, just leave it down in the comments below or in any of the social media channels and we can all get more interesting together. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks to Radio Kill for a great question. All you guys go out and have a great week. Love you guys. Take care. But because these crops have a patent on it, you have to pay for any seeds that come out of that crop, or else you'll whoop a... <laughs>